laughing. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it, it was like unfair, but it had to be done, I guess. The first when we first seen him, I was, I was telling him, I was like, should we really actually do that? Just let him go. We just how scared it is. You ain't got no control of nothing, man. That's just proof of that. You got control of nothing. I really didn't want to deal with it. I really didn't want to deal with it, but he might want to go there for that girl. You know, you know, uh, really? Or, his or maybe he'll wake up and put on a garment and join us. Oh, uh, that shit. That ain't gonna happen. Yeah, that's one thing I don't miss is shaving. It says, well, one of themselves, even a prophet of their own, said the preacher are always liars, evil beasts, slow bellies. This witness is true, wherefore rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith. Now see, I, I, what is that? You see that? The scripture said, rebuke them sharply, so they may be sound in the faith. So people get mad. Why are why you raising your voice? Why are you being so argumentative? Why are you being so mean? So the, why? Because the scripture clearly said, rebuke them sharply, so they be sound in the faith. That's just like when your father is cursing your ass out because you're doing some dumb ass shit. Ron, I got children. I'll be laying it on them, but I'll be cussing them out. Like, motherfucker, you do that shit again, I'm gonna beat your ass. So the Lord gonna do the same thing. Same shit. Same shit. You know, some of them just gonna get more ass whoopers in them. Exactly. More ass whoopers before them that get destroyed with a missile. So really, you just can't be all nice to people all the time. Right. Jealous, man. Those times are jealous, man. It's jealous. Nothing like that teaching all them lies and all that teaching other gods, man. That's a good Teaching that other Jesus motherfuckers is crazy. No bitches. Why are you jealous? Why are you jealous? Bro? You're the nature of the most high. That's the same nature. The same fucking nature. That's the perfect that, that's the perfect scripture right there. Right. Rebuke them, rebuke them sharply so that so that what is how does that say again? Let me read again. Yeah. Um, that, that scripture resonates with me. It says in verse 13. This witness is true. Wherefore rebuke them sharply. That they may be sound in the faith. Yeah, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith. Wow. Right, right. Right. So yeah, you to be, be sound, you won't be sound, you would be be, be uh, what's that word? Uh cemented in the faith. You won't be anchored in the faith. What's the word I'm looking for? There you go. There you go. I guess it's a good word. There you go. Anchor. Anchor. Well, yeah, Anchor. rooted, rooted. Anchor. Yeah. yeah, rooted. Yeah. Most I put out here that solid foundation, right? That solid, solid foundation when that storm comes, it doesn't be, it can't be moved. Right. right. You know? I mean, the faith is simple. The Lord said He only came for the Israelites. I mean, how hard is that to understand? That's what the Bible says. It said, I can't. Matthew 15 and 24 says, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. James 1 and 1 said, To the 12 tribes that are scattered. I mean, we got scriptures for days on this. Right, every scripture we read to him was Israel and Jacob, Israel and Jacob, Israel yeah. and Jacob, man. You can't get around that. He got around it somehow and fell off. He said he James, he, to he said, him. they dealt with James. I can't get over that. We're going to see him out here while you I see him. They dealt with James. <laughs> oh, shit. That'd be a punishment for him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's funny, bro. <laughs> Not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. Unto the pure, all things are pure, but unto yeah. them that are defiled. Oh, that's a commandment of men. A commandment of men is, is saying we're supposed to go teach this gospel, you know, to, to heathens. But the scriptures say that we're supposed to go to the the, the lost sheep of the house of Israel to teach them. Now, we are supposed to go among all nations to teach the Bible. That's because the Israelites are scattered among all nations. And that's a mystery that these fools can't understand. But that's why a mystery is called a mystery. Because mysteries are not understood by everybody. That's why it's called a mystery. <laughs> you know what I mean? What did the scriptures speak of something called the mystery of the Gentiles? What is you gonna tell me the mystery of the Gentiles is that Gentiles are actually Gentiles? That's not a mystery. The mystery of the Gentiles is that, that a lot of them is actually Israelites. Because you got Israelites to come and uh they come in all colors, I'll say it like that. 
Because the Lord's only dealing with people from the house of Israel. Check okay. this out. The etymology of the word mystery. In a theological sense, religious truth, divine revelation, hidden spiritual significance, mystical truth. Mystical. Um, hidden meanings. H hidden meanings. Obviously, the shit's hid from them. Secret right and secret worship. A secret thing. That's the city. That's not something everybody knows about. A secret right or doctrine. Yes. One who has been initiated. One who is closed, shut. Your boy has not been initiated. <laughs> Perhaps referring to the lips in secrecy or to the eyes only initiated or allowed to see the sacred. Yeah, he was not allowed to see anything. Check this out. The Greek word was used as was used in Septuagint for secret counsel of the Most High. Oh, a secret counsel of the Most High. Oh, the Septuagint. He got mad at us. This guy got mad at us because we quote a uh, brother read a scripture out of the Apocrypha, out of the book of what Second Ezra. Second Ezra six. But Second Ezra was in the Septuagint. It was in the ancient Greek Old Testament. So anybody, all, all the so-called, uh, all the Greeks in the New Testament would have been reading that, right? That's right. If they didn't speak Hebrew, they would be, have to learn the Hebrew, obviously. But since Greek was a native language, they would have had the Septuagint. And that had a, the Maccabees in it. Well, had, even a, all, all our scriptures had the Maccabees in it. Because originally uh, the Maccabees was written in Hebrew. Originally Ezra was written in Hebrew, but that got lost in time. Originally, the book of Revelation was written in Hebrew. The book of Matthew was written in Hebrew, you know? So what are these people talking about? Oh, you can't use that apocrypha. You use a book nobody else has. Oh. Hey, you ain't definitely ain't got it. Amos 3, 7 says, uh, so like surely the Lord God would do nothing but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. Oh, they got that word secret again. He will reveal his secret unto his servant, the prophets. So I guess your boy won a prophet. He was trying to prophesy about the kingdom. He, he failed. He was doing a real bad job. There's a lot of times when we talk about the kingdom of heaven, it's a beautiful thing to talk about. They ain't making really smile, man. But what he was talking about, man, yeah, they're gonna be grain. <laughs> like, bro, is that all you got? How about the Lord gonna destroy this fucking place? How about that? You know what I mean? No Trying to put a smile on my face or something. No he was all only worried about his uh, physical body getting sustained. Talking about food and blindness. Well, obviously, ain't nobody gonna hunger in the kingdom. Obviously, but it's way deeper than that. How, how about the death of our enemies? How about that? That's that's something to look forward to. What's that scripture that said? I'd love to see that. That's an apocryphal. Uh, we can't use that scripture. Yeah. Yeah. To them that are undefiled and unbelieving, nothing's pure. Even. But even their mind and consciousness defiled. Yeah, it was. They confess, they profess that they know the Most High, but in works they deny Him, being abominable and disobedient, and unto every good work they reprobate. Every good work. We're doing a good work, too. The Lord gave Him over. He looked like a. Really, when you look at it, he kind of, he looked like a sodomite. Like well, he just thought he was going to die. That's the first thing I thought when I first heard his voice. He had that old uh, Jesse Lee Peterson spirit on him. That was Jesse Lee Peterson's cousin. You know what I'm talking about? That dude, he's always like the ambassador for the white man. He's like a real, he's got his own radio show, Jesse Lee Peterson. He, he's the, the, the dude that all the white people get on the radio show to, to take up for the Republicans. They'd be like, see, we got a black guy on our show. Oh, you said Alex Jones got a bag down 
Man, Alex Jones got banned from Facebook. He got banned from Spotify and iTunes. Man, and, and they suing his ass over Sandy Hook. I know, I know that court stuff. I know that. That's what he goes from getting in all that political shit. Sandy Hook. He gonna play that political game. He gonna lose it. He's a jake too. That's why he getting cursed. Yo, he done fell the fuck off. His show used to be okay back in the day. Right. He's so getting cursed now too. I'm trapping I'm tripping seeing all those videos from my down and Dick Oh shit, they got something else. Did you know uh I just right before we came out here, yeah, I was reading the dude. Hey y'all, man. That's good. I just, right before we came out, I had seen in the news that uh, Steven Seagal is going to be a, a, an ambassador from Russia to, to the USA. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. I was like, wow. I was like, next they're going to get Chuck Norris to be Secretary of Defense. I was like, what the fuck is going on out here, bro? Right, right, right. right. It's getting crazy. Steven fucking Seagal. He an ambassador now. That's crazy. Six figure, uh, 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 like I can Anthony only imagine. The hey, I can only imagine the parties they have. Bro, man, man, I used to like Steven Seagal too. Man. Oh, he's a Russian citizen now. Yeah, that was all his American citizenship. The guy was telling him to get, you know, Steven Seagal. What's, What's up, that? man? You a banker or something, man? Big. Okie doke looking at. What's up, son? <laughs> On your way to Mount Doom? You learn anything all, all these years you've been out here listening to us? Who the Lord come to say? You know her is teaching it a hundred times. I'm like a real big shit. The Rubik's Cube? That's <laughs> crazy. That's how you got them spirits on you. You got to get them spirits. Brian, it's a lot of work, too. I feel you. I feel you. What I think? He's like, he's like Gollum when Gollum went crazy. That rain drove Gollum crazy. I'm going call him Smeagles. What's up, Smeagles? Yeah, I call you Smeagles? Still tip and tip. Ha ha ha. He got a chicken. 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 You got the spirit set me on. Put you out here like that, man. That's what most of us like. Okay, motherfucker, I got you. Motherfucker died, up there escaped and shit. What's up, man? Did your demons got a name? What's the name of your demons? You don't know. You don't talk to you anymore. This is. Where you from? From Columbus? Yeah. From Columbus, Ohio? Yeah. What side of town? Westerville. Westerville? Westerville? Oh, straight up? Westerville? Main Street? State Street? Yeah. Okay. Alright. Africa Road? Um, New Africa Road? Um, yeah, I know all of them. Why do you speak in Westerville? The cops won't let me come home one time without getting pulled over. Westerville get cursed right now. See those cops that got blasted in Westerville? Westerville. Yeah, cursing demons out. Westerville's full of leopards, jakes, they don't pay. Westerville? Westerville's full of jakes, they don't pay. I never really been out there. Yeah. Westerville's full of jakes. You see those white bitches down there with those fat asses in Westerville. My wife from Westerville. <laughs> I, I live out east with Jake. Ain't nothing but uh. 
<laughs> you gonna go, you gonna go your girl right here. You better hop on that one. Where the hoes at? He got all the hoes. Okay, two steps. That's why you stay out here all day, ain't it? You use a little curve, ain't you? That's because I want to make everybody else go that way. Yeah, there you go. That's what people teach now. Like a, yeah, like a super villain. Like yeah. it, he's like, he's like, don't never make fun of me again. Yeah. After, <laughs> right, right, he right. got to build on some device. Yeah. You know, go. That's the spirit he had too. Like, you know, like, you know, oh, super villain. What's up, man? You want to challenge the word of God too? All contenders, bro. Nothing wrong, man. This is a job for Superman. Super we are Superman. Superman. Yeah, right. Actually, the word for that is Abba Yar. Abba Yar. Oh, yeah, Kel L's. Kel L's Hebrew's, uh, Superman's real name is what? Kel L, right? Kel L's a Hebrew word that means the voice of God. It's actually Kual Allah. Great yeah. Caesar's goods. <laughs> what do you say? Hey, he got Proverbs. That's what Terry wants us to say on that show all the time. Nah, go ahead. I got this piece of paper earlier. We talked about it. Uh, one of the different secrets. That's the next line. It's uh, John 15 and 15. It says, Henceforth, I call you not servants. For the servant, it's like for the servant, no, it's not. What's that? What's that? No tattoos in your Some rooms. I can read rooms. I bet she can't even read it. I, I legit can read rooms. What was that? Rooms. Probably that look like the younger start. The rooms come from the Hebrew too, though. It's similar to uh, ancient Hebrew and Latin. This what it looked like. Yeah, it's rooms. That's a Viking shit. I can read rooms. It's not hard. It's only like, well, go ahead with that. He says, John 15 and 15, his book, I call you not service. The servant knoweth not what the Lord doeth. But I call you friends for all things that I have heard of my father and have taken over. Yeah, so that, that, that's why people do. Like, I, I worship two guys. Nah, bro. Because the most high the most high. I, I look weird, bro. I don't like looking at myself. I am like, I'm an ugly motherfucker. You ain't never seen that Tito picture Tito took on the bus and sent to me? Uh -huh. bus? I, I Maybe you did. I don't know. You got to get me from the left side. <laughs> That's where the side where the eyebrow goes up, like the rock. I can't make my right eyebrow. eyebrow. How you feel? Hey, read that scripture again, though. John 15, 15. His fourth, I call you not servant. Servant, no, it's not. There's no do it, but I have called you friends for all things that I have heard my father have made known. Right, right. Just like this scripture say, the Lord sent his son to the earth. Like the old famous John 3, 16. The Lord sent his son to give us his truth. He's the only one that that was qualified to teach the truth. He's the only one that had the truth. He's a mediator between man and the Most High. That's what people can't understand about the scriptures. They get all bugged out because they think there's, they know there's one God, so they'll say, oh, so-called Jesus is God. No, you're wrong. You totally got it wrong, bro. <laughs> He's the mediator, bro. He's the Messiah. Didn't the book of Daniel speak of the Messiah? God don't know how man feels, so he wouldn't come into the flesh. That, that's the most ignorant shit. You gonna tell me the most I don't know how man feels when he created how man feels? That's like that's like me. That's like I've been in. Let's say I've been in the fight. I made that. I, and I'm saying I don't know how this thing works. I made it, dumbass. Of course I know how to work. You know what I'm saying? That's what, that's what Christians teach. They teach that. I don't know how man how it feels to be a man. He's gonna, like, Even John three sixteen says it. The most, for God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son. Hey, I heard Trussell was a, 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 a 
abusive piece of shit. Trestle? Not Trestle. What's the coach now? Urban Myers. 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 Oh, they try to get Myers out of there. <laughs> Like but that, that's track. really, even though I would say Myers look like a homosexual, but that's some bullshit they pulling with that all oh, domestic abuse and all that faggot shit. I mean, you get fired for anything nowadays. There's much more to it, though. Is it? That he was, like, abusive. To, oh, man, that motherfucker was a trip, man. Well, you you know, ain't seen his videos? No, he got to be mean, though. The former yeah, that's Now, he was abusive. He was abusive how they were talking. Now, they were actually having to get up. With one of them had to talk like Man, I almost had to defend myself against this motherfucker. For real? Tony. He was like, I almost had to defend myself against this motherfucker. But almost all them coaches, all them coaches are like that. Not all. Not you know like what I mean? Him, like, you don't just walk in the room throwing shit at people, man. He's talking about his coaches. players? Yeah, throwing shit at his players, man. I knew he was like that. You know, playing mind games, talking about his family, and almost getting, almost, almost turning shit racial. Man. Yeah, I didn't Actually, see it. it was turning shit racial. I didn't see that. Yeah, you gotta watch the I believe it, though. I know all them coaches, a lot of them are like that. Piece of shit. We marked the Ohio State is cursed, man. Because uh, Irv Myers is a so-called Jew, too. He's a rat. But you got to be a piece of shit to get a job like that. You know, his major was psychology. He majored in psychology. Really? You know, and he, he was abusing to us, uh, to the extreme. Come on, Smeagles. Get that right there. Hell yes. I didn't even have to think about that. We talking about the one. Her whole at the Which one? You talking about this one? Right. Oh yeah, no doubt. Well, uh, we put on a three month program. Shit. Yeah, you still got that man. Flush that shit out. Yeah. Flush out. Them the tests are clogged up. Nah, nah. Asking too much of it now. Girl, though, she has some nice golden, golden, uh, brown skin, ships <laughs> shivering in the sunlight. I'm like a poet, bro. <laughs> what if you actually talk to bitches like that? Read a bitch some poetry? Who the fuck do some shit like that, you know? I get silly. Yo, don't know, fall for that shit. I always entertain myself. Like, I, can't, I can't take it myself serious talking like that, you know? One thing I've been through. Uh, it cracks me up, man. See the shit they love here, man. Hey. I laughed at my mom. I know, man. I need to, I need to learn that, man. That's some funny shit, man. So I'm a game, man. It really is. Shit is all about, man. Like well, I already know they like a joker. They like clowns. Make they all, all, every one woman wants somebody to make them laugh. It's like I'm running out of. I mean, I can make y'all laugh. But I, t I tell, I say something to these people, they say, oh, that's fucked in the head. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you talk about America being destroyed, talking about beat, he, like, if I talk about torturing Esau or something, they'll say I'm fucked in the head for that. We're going to torture our enemies. They ain't being kicked in, but China released more. That's like 60 billion more. Oh, no. Terrorists. I see uh, they Don already feel the Donald Trump just reinstated the sanctions, yeah, economic Iran, sanctions on Iran. Yeah. Oh, shit. Now they they going, well, this has been going on for years, but they uh, blocking off the Straits of Hormuz, and Israel's talking about going in for, we've been waiting for this forever. Yeah. This is it. Like, come on with it. We're just waiting for that spark that's going to really ignite it. You know? Iran ain't fucking around. Well, hell, fucking they, they actually, got they got like a two million strong man uh, military. Right. And an unlimited amount of missiles. Different types of missiles, too. They ain't been fighting no wars over all these years, so they've been saving the yeah, missiles. That's right, that's right. You see all the missiles yeah. America been shooting. Yeah, they haven't ran a drill in a while. That, that, that was a, 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 a recent drill that they ran. They ain't ran one of them in a while. Shit. And there ain't no dummies. In, you know a lot of jakes over there in Iran. I saw that one missile that they shot off in the little boat. The missile went up about maybe 50 feet, went straight, came back down went straight to that bitch. I was like, whoa. They, they want you to think that Iran's some old backwards ass country. Just a bigger Iraq or some shit. But you ever seen pictures of it? That's just fucking beautiful it's over there. Beautiful. The, the cities and shit. Yeah, go back to the early 70s, how beautiful the Like yeah. the Jake's world. You can tell the Jake's in the crowd. There's Jake's everywhere out there. Yeah, you can tell. You can tell. 
Cardinals. They were fashionable, man. That's one thing about them Persians. They yeah. think they're fashionable. I, Jake's over there is. They got a lot of good music and shit. They do got style. I be watching it because I like to watch the different cultures around the world on YouTube, listen to how music sounds from different countries and shit. But they got some of that music. I be hearing some of that Persian shit come out by all this shit. This is a banger right here. You know it ain't really banging, but you like, man, 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 man. <laughs> But it, 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 that's where the, the belly dancers come from. Don't Iran mean person? Yeah, well, Iran Aryan. Means it means Aryan. Iran, Aryan. Persian is far side. But they speak that far side language. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Matthew 24. It says, you shall hear wars, rumors of wars. That's all you hear. The Bible says you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. That's all you got is number of wars. We living in the age of thermonuclear missiles. You know, this is the first time in history that we had thermonuclear missiles. What do you think they gonna do with those missiles? They got all these missiles pointed right at America, bro. They gonna shoot them missiles. Go ahead. It says, you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation. Nation shall rise against nation. All right, that's the first time in you know history you had what in this century, what a past century, in this century too, what World War One, World War Two, World War Three. That's a world war fought on all continents. When in the past in the ancient world they have world wars, now they have a world wars, bro. They fighting on all continents. 